who doesn't like the sound of bubble wrap puppies <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to be showing you how to make a party clutch like we're going to be converting this gorgeous frame you see here into a very stunning bag hold up let me show you this is what it looks like so we're going to be doing this so let's just jump right into the tutorial so first thing i'm going to do is pad it like padding this frame gives your bag a soft feel to it and it feels very classy and very regal this is quarter foam it's called quarter foam i'm based in lagos nigeria so i don't know what to be called wherever you're located but it's a light based foam so i'm just going to apply i, I applied gum padded it and trimmed out the excesses so next thing i'm going to put gum on the inside because i am going to glue my fabric to it this party clutch is called the dams clutch in my collection and this is a client's order and the amazing clients provided a fabric and for this bag we're going to be using a fabric called ashoki it's a regal hand woven fabric you see it so don't worry so i'm just applying gum on the inside of the frame and that is where i am going to glue the ashoki to please do not apply gum to your foam your foam will just absorb the gum and your bag will just keep smelling of gum so i'm just trimming it to the width that i need and then i'm going to gum it down always ensure that you stretch your fabric as much as you can do not stretch it too much so your fabric doesn't start to unravel because ashoki is woven so make sure you stretch it don't don't be like me let your gum get tacky so your gum getting tacky means it is sticky but it doesn't stay in your hands like when you touch it don't like see me trying to rub gum off my hands so leave the gum to get tacky before you start stretching it over it but it's quite simple I keep saying stretch it but please keep doing that if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel i'd really really appreciate that thank you so much i think i have a more de detailed tutorial on how i make this first i would look for the link and put it in the description box i show how to get the sides and the dimension because i didn't do that for this particular one and one thing you also need to notice this clutch comes in various shapes and sizes this is a rectangle shape there's the heart shape there's the pentagon shape there's the square shape so that is why i didn't do like a fixed tutorial on how i do the dimension and all of that i already have side. my pattern for how i do the clutch so i'm just drafting that out on a chipboard what i'm drawing on is called a chipboard it's kind of like a cardboard but it's a slightly thicker version so draw cut it out i like using satin to light my party clutch it gives it this soft smooth classy feel to it and it makes it feel like it's not even handmade like when you see my bags you wonder oh my god is this handmade like i love that feel and i love getting that reaction from my client so just apply gum all over glue the satin and then i'm going to cut the sides as well so we've covered the body and next up i am going to sketch out the dimension for my sides and cut it out now this is what it looks like this is the shell and this is the frame one thing i love about it is because since it's padded and it's a shell key it's really thick so it just slides in perfectly and it's not going to remove once you snap it in place just see how that looks i'm so excited <laughs> uh, so anyways i'm just going to fix all of that and then I am going to go to the sewing machine with the satin I cut out for the side and sew the elastic on so that I can finally assemble this back together. So the elastic that I am attaching would make it easy to open and close the bag and just so it snaps shut. When I'm done with the bag, you see what it looks like. So I'm just sewing the, what I did was first cut, just notch the middle of the side so I knew where to sew the elastic to. I'm doing that on both elastics on both sides and I'm just sewing it around to secure it if you look at it properly you see that the satin is folded in half so both the inside and outside is satin and of course I had to sew my leave alone there as well it's a touchy bag after all all right so time to do the final assembly we have the body we have the inner and we have the sides so I'm just going to apply gum right there and apply gum to the edges of the side as well leave to get tacky and then you assemble 
and then i'm just applying the gum here so they get tacky by the time it's time for me to assemble everything together so i'm just gluing on the sides do the other side as well now can you see what the elastic has made the bag look like it's quite easy to open and close so i'm going to apply gum to the back of the chibot as well so that way i know it's going to stick to the frame of the party clutch i'm back again to remind you to please subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate that and if there are any other kind of tutorials you would like to see please just comment in the comment section but i am going to be working on a series on pattern creation because that's one of the most reoccurring questions i ask like how do i draft pattern for a particular bag so i'm going to be showing you how you can draft patterns for any bag design all right back to what we're doing now our, our gum is tacky and i am just assembling it together you would see that I also use a super glue as well. This is to ensure that it is 100% secured and doesn't come up. But that's it. It's a very simple thing to do. This bag took me less than 30 minutes to do from beginning to ending. And this amazing client was super lucky because this was the last frame I had in stock. Fingers crossed I'll be able to restock it real soon. If I can restock this one, I'll definitely get another stunning design to restock. And fam, this is it. Our party clutch is ready. So I'm just using super glue to secure all the edges and all the corners so that nothing unravels. Oh, and if you have one of these purses, like random purses, you can scatter it and reassemble it. That was how I was able to figure out how to make this party clutch. And that is the end of our tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be attaching this chain for the client. So basically, that's it. Remember, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments below. And I'll be sure to answer as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye. See you in the next video.